A big part of dividing complex numbers is knowing what a conjugate means. So, the conjugate of a complex number is where the real part stays the same and the imaginary part becomes the opposite. For example, if I gave you 3 plus 4i, the complex conjugate of this number would be negative 3 minus 4i. So again, the real part stays the same and the imaginary part becomes the opposite sign. 7 minus 2i, that complex conjugate would be 7 plus 2i. And if I gave you negative 3 minus 5i, then that would still stay negative 3, but then it would become plus 5i. The only thing that might look a little odd is if I gave you the value um, negative 2i. Since the real part is 0 here, it doesn't change. So then the, the complex conjugate of negative 2i is just positive 2i. You still change that imaginary part. So the importance or the purpose of the conjugate is that when we multiply them together, we're going to get rid of the imaginary part. So, for example, if I gave you 2 plus 5i times the conjugate 2 minus 5i, when I distribute, I'm going to get 4 minus 10i plus 10i and then minus 25i squared. So you can already see that the middle two terms right here are going to cancel out. Mm -hmm. So we're left with 4 minus 25, except that i squared becomes negative 1. So then our final answer is 4 plus 25, which gives us 29. So by multiplying the complex conjugate, um, or by multiplying a complex number by its conjugate, it cancels out and gets rid of the imaginary part. So this is important because now when we divide, just like we're not allowed to have a radical in the denominator, we are also not allowed to have an imaginary number in the denominator. So we're going to use the concept of the complex conjugate to get rid of that imaginary number in the denominator. So let's look at an example. If I gave you the, de uh, the fraction 3 plus 2i divided by 4 minus 5i, to get rid of that minus 5i in the denominator, we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the complex conjugate. So we're going to have 4 plus 5i and 4 plus 5i. Now, be careful. We need to put parentheses because we have two, um, a binomial times a binomial on the numerator and the denominator. So this is going to take a little work because we have to distribute on the numerator and we're going to distribute on the denominator. So let's do the numerator first. We're going to have 3 times 4, so we're going to get 12. 3 times 5i to get 15i. 2i times 4, which is 8i and then 2i times 5i, which is plus, positive 10i squared. Okay, now, if we did the denominator, we're going to have 4 times 4, which is 16, 4 times 5i, which is 20i, negative 5i times 4, which is negative 20i, and then negative 5i, times positive 5i gives us negative 25i squared. Okay, so first let's simplify that numerator. I'm going to combine 15 and 8 together. So I'm going to have 12 plus 23i. And then I'm going to make 10i squared into negative 10 because that i squared is negative 1. So 10 times negative 1 gives us minus 10. Now I'm going to do this in parts. I know that we can keep simplifying that numerator. 
So in the denominator, you're going to notice that the middle two terms are going to cancel out. We want that because we're multiplying a complex number by its conjugate. So that is going to happen. So we have 16, but then this minus 25i squared is going to become plus 25 because we have negative 25 times negative 1. All right, so if we continue to simplify, we're, that numerator is going to be 2 plus 23i, and our denominator is going to be 41. So this is our final answer. We got rid of that complex number in the denominator, and now we only have it in the numerator. All right, so let's do one more example. So if I have a positive 2i in the denominator, I'm going to multiply by the complex conjugate. So that complex conjugate, since it doesn't have a real part, it, it's going to stay 0. So we're just going to multiply by negative 2i. So this example is a little bit easier than the one we just did because we only have to distribute one number instead of two. I'm going to put my parentheses in to be careful. And now we're ready to multiply. So one times negative two i is negative two i. And then we have negative three i times negative two i and I'm going to get positive six i squared all over. Okay, so now we just have 2i times negative 2i, so I'm going to get 4i squared. So the last thing we need to do is simplify, or excuse me, evaluate these i squared terms, and I'm going to have negative 2i minus 6 all over negative 4. So now we need to write this in proper form because if you notice, our imaginary part is first and we always want that second. And if you notice, we have three negatives right here. So our final answer is going to be positive 6 because all three of those negatives are going to cancel each other out since we're dividing negative 2i by negative 4 and negative 6 by negative 4. And we're going to have 6 plus 2i over 4. And we're almost finished. The very last thing you need to do is simplify. Everything is divisible by 2, so everything is going to be divided by 2. And my final answer is 3 plus i divided by 2.